ओके हेलो गाइस हाय 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 इस इट इज वेरी लॉन्ग टाइम सिंस वी मेट एंड यस फॉर टुडे आई एम जस्ट गॉट यू सम क्विक टिप्स एंड ट्रिक्स व्हिच कैन बी अप्लाइड फॉर योर पीजीसीटी बिफोर यू जस्ट एंटर योर एग्जाम फॉर टुडे आई विल जस्ट रिलीज दिस वीडियो एंड अनदर वीडियो इट इज गोइंग टू बी फ्रॉम कंप्लीटली फॉर योर लॉजिकल जस्ट गो थ्रू दैट वीडियो इट शुड बी अ बिट हेल्पफुल फॉर यू फॉर योर एग्जामिनेशन टू हाउ टू सॉल्व इट एंड हाउ टू गो अबाउट इट might help you out this also just take it out in order to solve some important types or important types of questions whatever you might get in your exam that's what we're going to solve it here uh hope this video helps you out and uh, it makes you people happy so with that said let us get into the topic for today this is going to be completely qa this is your lakshman hi if you are new to the channel please do like share and subscribe the video and uh, that would be really helpful for us in order to make much more videos we are just trying to bring in the best content for your people that helps you out in order to crack your examination we'll start with the video for today okay the first topic that we are going to start for today is your percentages so when i tell percentages many people get afraid because of one particular reason that is because sir these percentages are very weird when i see these i am not able to solve it very quickly it becomes difficult for us to solve okay first let us try to overcome that fear and post that i'll start helping your people to crack the question okay first and basic things what you need to remember over here is what these percentages can do and some percentage to fraction conversions what is important i would recommend you to memorize it if you want it or else you practice it and remember it as per your convenience okay so 1 by 2 1 by 3 1 by 4 1 by 5 1 by 6 1 by 7 1 by 8 1 by 9 1 by 10 1 by 11 1 by 12 One by fourteen, one by fifteen, one by sixteen, one by twenty, one by twenty-five, and one by fifty. Okay, sir. What is this, sir? How does it work? So now, when I ask what is half, you will tell, sir. Very easy, sir. Hundred by two, that is nothing but fifty percent. Very good. When I ask one by three, you will tell, sir. Hundred by series three, sir. That is nothing but thirty-three point three three percent. Excellent. When I ask one by four, it will be hundred by four. That is twenty-five percent. Hundred by five is going to be twenty percent. So, what is the benefit of? It? So, when I ask a question, for example, what is one fifty percent of thirty-two? One fifty percent of thirty-two. What will you tell? Sir, don't know so much also. One so fifty. You take it percentage, then you solve it. You'll get the answer. But you will take at least thirty forty seconds to solve it. Yes. So now you know what is fifty percent value for the fraction. What is it? One by two. What will be one fifty percent then? Three into one by two into thirty two. So two will go how many times? Sixteen times. Three into sixteen will become forty eight. This becomes your answer. How much time did it take? Hardly ten seconds. Twenty seconds saved. First trick. So now you will tell sir. 150% you have thought as a trick also no in speed math if you not watched it go back and watch the video i'll put the link over here on the description okay now first thing 150% easy sir sir what about then 33.33 and all sir so when i ask a question something like what is 66.66% of this particular number all of a sudden you will be like sir 66.66 and all how to do sir 66.66% of 33 And be like again confused. Don't worry. Two into one by three into thirty-three. Two three will go eleven times. So it becomes twenty-two. Answer done. In a fraction of second. This is the power of knowing fraction to percentages or percentage to fractions. Vice versa. Very helpful, right? So let us start doing much more things. One by six is nothing but half of one by three. What is half of one by three? Sixteen point six six percent. Great. One by seven is a special number. That is going to be fourteen point two eight five seven percentage. So what is so special about it, sir? It's a number, no? Okay, just a number. It is called a cyclic number. Why is a cyclic number? Now fourteen point two eight five seven is nothing but one by seven, I say. Okay. And what is going to be two by seven? Is what is the second least number in this 
in this case 2 start with 2 28.5714 percentage nothing but starting over here 0.5714 cyclic number 3 by 7 means it becomes third least number is 4 42. 42.8571 percentage keeps on going cyclic number yes or no this is the best way next let me just clear it out mm. okay great next is your 1 by 8 1 by 8 is nothing but half of 1 by 4 what is half of 1 by 4 25 half is 12.5 percent is there sir 12.5 percent okay 12.5 percent is 1 by 8 when i ask you a question what is 37.5 percent most frequently asked percent 37.5 percentage what is 37.5 percentage of 48 now you will tell sir 37.5 percentage is nothing but 3 by 8 sir 3 into 1 by 8 is nothing but 12.5 into 3 that is 37.5 yes sir into 48 8 will go 6 times this becomes 18 and sir done 10 seconds yes or no right so this is the power of your percentage to fractions be very very sure about it i am 100 percent confident that if you are aware of it percentages will be like a cakewalk trust me okay next 1 by 9 and 1 by 11 are friends okay 1 by 9 and 1 by 11 are friends what is the meaning sir 1 by 9 is a multiple of 11 means it is going to be 11.11 percentage 2 by 9 means it is going to be 22.22 percentage 3 by 9 is going to be 33.33 percentage that's it done same way 1 by 11 becomes multiples of 9 means 9.09 .09 percentage 2 by 11 becomes 18.18 percentage it's ongoing right this is the next one 1 by 10 is easiest one 10 percent 1 by 12 is nothing but half of 1 by 6 that is nothing but 8.33 percentage okay now a quick question quick question since you have done so much things what is 87.5 percentage somebody can just put it down in the comment that would be great what is 87.5 percentage yes any answers 87.5 percentage is going to be 7 by 8 sir 12.5 lesser than 100 no sir yes 7 by 8 absolutely right this is the way you can identify it right 1 by 14 is going to be half of 1 by 7 that is going to be 7.14 percentage wonderful 1 by 15 is going to be a special number that is going to be 6.66 percentage very special number remember it multiple times this kind of question comes into picture 6.66 percent 1 by 16 is nothing but half of 1 by 8 what is half of 1 by 8 6.25 percentage 1 by 20 100 by 20 that is 5 percentage 1 by 25 is 100 by 25 that is 4 percentage 1 by 50 is 2 percentage sir will i be using this 2 percentage or not yes you will be using sir how sir example imagine i am asking question what is 72 percent of 150 72 percent of 150 now we will tell sir i do not have any number which is like exactly 72 or multiple of 72 i do not have sir then what to do don't worry it's an even number right so 2 into 36 percent will make it 2 into 36 percent of 150 is same right 2 into 36 percent so what is 36 percent you can do that else what you can do sir why are you doing all these things sir sir 1 by 50 is nothing but 2 percent 1 by 50 is nothing but 2 percent so 1 by 50 into how much you do into 36 so what are you doing sir what is 1 by 50 2 percent into 36 how much 72 percent same so 1 by 50 into 36 into 150 50 will go three times 36 into 3 becomes 108 that's all answer done as simple as that was it difficult no absolutely fine sir can't i do it with four sir yes you can do that is no problem with me that is absolutely fine 18 by 25 you can do it absolutely fine anything which can simplify your task and give you the answer instantaneously is absolutely fine Hope this concept of your percentage to fraction is absolutely crystal clear.
just take a screenshot of it that would be helpful to you in order to revise it repeatedly i'll just bookmark this or save it in your favorite videos and you can repeatedly look into it and that okay now coming to the next one let me reload the page quickly let's see that okay now a is what percentage of b now this is what you get normally okay example let me take a as 40 and b as 80 40 is what percentage of b of b of b so it means 80 in the denominator 40 in the numerator into 100 so what is this sir 40 will go two times sir there is nothing but 50 percent sir absolutely right absolutely right same question if i ask 32 is what percentage of 80 sir 32 divided by 80 into 100 that becomes 8 fours are 32 8 tens are 10 will go 10 times this becomes 40 percent absolutely right fine easy to understand okay sir great so what are you trying to tell sir now whenever they give a statement a is what percent of b whatever is there after of that will be the denominator after of will be the denominator so done next important statement is a is what percentage lesser than b same question let us take a is 32 b is 8 a is 32 is what percentage lesser than b what are they asking lesser than b means by what is the difference by and in that difference what is the percentage of the difference that is what right so first what is the difference between them difference between them you will tell sir 80 minus 32 that is going to be 48 sir now i want to find out the percentage in order to find out the percentage by what i should divide sir that is the question yes sir by what i should divide should i divide by 32 or should I divide by 80, sir? Sir, they are asking for percentage less, no, sir. So, I will divide by smaller number, no? Whenever you get percentage less, percentage decrease, percentage lower, okay? And they ask you to find this. There is nothing but difference divided by the higher number. Difference divided by the higher value. So, what is 48 divided by the higher value here? 80. Finish. Simple way to understand it. Okay. 80 into 100. Sir, 8, 6 are 48. 8, 10 are 10 will go 10 times. This becomes 60 percent. This is absolutely right. Same question. Let me put it in other ways. This is 80. This is 32. 80 is what percentage more than 8? Now, what you will do? Sir, again difference, sir. But here, when they ask for percentage more, percentage increase, percentage higher, always divide by the lower value. Lower value. So now what about the difference is 48 divided by the lower value is 32 into 100. So 8, 6 are 48, 8, 4 are 32. 4 will go 25 times. 25 into 6 becomes 150 percent. What happens? You learnt three important rules over here. A is what percentage of B? A is what percentage lesser than B? A is what percentage more than A? Very important. Remember it and implement it. Okay. This will be very helpful for your data interpretation also because in your data interpretation also they will be asking the percentage kind of thing. Right. So one topic, multiple advantages. Not only over here, you will find the same advantage in your simple interest, compound interest everywhere trust me one one simple thing what you learn percentage to ratio will help you in almost all the topics of your quants that is the magic of it right okay with this said let us get into the next important thing over here let me just read on it and just go back the first question if the income of a is 25 percentage more than b how much is it more than b 25 percentage more than b how much percentage b's income is less than a now, what is this question are b's income is less than a means is the statement it is the statement what they are asking a is what percentage less than b 
okay first they are telling a's income is 25 percentage more than b so what is the 25 percentage in terms of fraction 1 by 4 now this is percentage increase a's income is 25 percentage more than b what is the meaning of more than b sir it means if b is getting 100 rupees a will get 100 plus 25 rupees sir extra it becomes 125 this is the meaning sir of percentage more absolutely right sir if this is 100 percent this is nothing but 100 percent plus 25 percent sir that is nothing but 125 percent sir okay sir sir 125 percent is nothing but let me come back to that what is 4 plus 1 5 divided by 4 okay sir what is the reason for this sir what is 125 percent sir 5 into 1 by 4 this is both the same what did it do now whenever there is a percentage increase there is an increment that is nothing but 1 plus 1 by 4 100 percent plus 25 percent the same value 1 is nothing but 100 percent plus 1 by 4 comes 5 by 4 instead of doing all these steps what i am doing sir forget all these steps just do 25 percent is 1 by 4 if it is percentage more or if it is increasing that means 4 plus 1 that becomes 5 by 4 sir what if it is decreasing sir don't worry 25 percent decreasing means 1 by 4 sir decreasing means 4 minus 1 that is nothing but 3 by 4 that's all done one question multiple logics okay okay sir great now what i should do sir okay let me start from the first thing now what you will do sir 25 percentage increment means 1 by 4 that is nothing but 5 by 4 yes sir absolutely fine so what is 5 by 4 whose value is 5 whose value is 4 sir a's value is 5 b's value is 4 a is 25 percent more than b means a is higher a's value is 5 b's value is 4 yes sir right sir okay now, how much is B's income less than A, they are asking. What you need to do, sir? Difference between them. Yes, what is the difference between them? 5 minus 4 is 1, sir. The whole divide by, sir, they are asking for percentage less, sir. So, divide by the higher number, sir, into 100, sir. What is 1 by 5, sir? 1 by 5 is nothing but 20 percent, sir. That's all, sir. Answer done, sir. What happened? How much percent B's income is less than A? You find it. Did you do multiple steps here? One step, answer done. This is the power. Okay. So, hope this concept is crystal clear for you people. If that is good, let us get into the next part of it. Next one. A's income is 40% less than B. Okay. First step, what you need to do? Sir, 40%, sir. That is nothing but less they are telling, sir. 40% less means it is going to be uh, 40 percent can be written as 2 by 5 sir yes sir less means it is going to be 5 minus 2 that is 3 by 5 sir where 3 is nothing but a sir and 5 is nothing but b sir so a is income is 3 b is income is 5 sir they are asking by what percentage is b is income more than a sir so difference between them is 2 sir the whole divide by if it is more means divide by the lesser number sir into 100 sir sir 1 by 3 is 33.33 percent sir 2 by 3 becomes 66.66 percent sir that's all sir done sir done and dusted right hope this is also crystal clear for you if this is good let us get into the next part third question a percentage of b plus b percentage of a plus 10 percent of a plus b now before I do this question, a small um, hint for you people or a small uh, disclaimer. 77% kind of, of 50, okay, or let me make it much more complicated, 177 percentage of 50. Now we will tell sir, 77 itself difficult sir, how will I find for 177? right in percentages you have a specific or a easy rule okay what is that easy rule sir percentages can be swapped sir what is that meaning sir 
So instead of writing 177% of 50, I can also write it as 50% of 177. Now what is 50% of 177, sir? Half of 177. What is half of 177, sir? 170 is nothing but how much? 85. 85 means this becomes 80. How much? 87. 87 becomes how much? Uh, 174. 87 becomes 174. 88 becomes 176. 88.5. That's all, sir. Done. One step answer. You can do that. You can do this. Both are the same answers. This is the benefit of knowing percentages. Right? Okay, with this said, let us go to the next question over here. A percentage of B plus B percentage of A plus 10 percent of A plus B. Now, what do you observe? Sir, percentage is everywhere, sir. This is LHS, sir. This is RHS, sir. Sir, can percentages cancel, sir? Yes, absolutely, percentages can cancel. So, percentage is common everywhere. So, okay, sir, percentage, percentage, percentage. Sir, what is the meaning of off, sir? Off means multiplication. So, it means nothing but AB plus BA is equal to 10 into A plus B. Okay, sir. Sir, AB plus BA is nothing but 2AB, sir. Yes, sir. Equal to 10 into A plus B, sir. Yes, sir. So, AB is equal to what, sir? AB is equal to 5A plus B. 5a plus b sir or a plus b divided by a b is equal to 1 divided by 5 sir yes absolutely fine sir what is the purpose sir? what is the question they are asking sir then the sum of the reciprocals of a and b is what what is reciprocal of a sir 1 by a what is reciprocal of b sir 1 by b what is the sum sir 1 by a plus 1 by b what is that sir lcm is a b sir up it comes a plus b sir so this is what we found out sir 1 by 5 sir absolutely right sir correct answer sir so what happened i just made the things easier for you when there is percentage common on both the sides it is absolutely fine to cancel it there's no harm in it okay it's the next important rule over here fine so if this is clear let us go into the next problem in a co-education school, 60% of the students are boys. If there are 320 girls in the school, the number of boys in the school is how much? Don't you? Co-education school, 60% of the students are boys. Okay. Okay, sir. 60% is boys. So, how many are girls? Sir, remaining 40% are girls. Very good. If remaining 40% are girls, how many girls are there in the school? 320, sir. Sir, then 40% is equal to 320, sir. Yes, very good. Sir, what are they asking, sir? They are asking the number of boys in the school. Sir, I know to solve this. Sir, 40% is 320. How much is 60%, sir? That's all, sir. Cross multiply and find out, sir. Sir, percentage, percentage cancel, sir. Yes, absolutely right. 60 into 320 divided by 40. So what happens sir 4 will go 8 times 6 into 8 becomes 480 so all sir done sir 6 8 is a 48 480 students 480 boys are there right 480 boys 320 girls this is the math over here was it difficult one step answer what you would have done just put it down in the comment let us see what you people are in the thought process if this is helping you a lot Please do subscribe to the channel and share this video to many people which might help them out in cracking this examination very easy. Trust me, this is one of the easiest exams to crack. Okay. Okay. Next one. When 40% of a number is added to 42, the result is the number itself. The number is They are telling there is some number which I am adding 40% of the same number to 42 and I am getting the same number back and I am getting the same number back. Now it is like, sir, there is some number. Okay. I am just taking for example and with this some number, I am adding 40% of same number. Or it is this way. 
40 percent of some number plus 42 is going to give me the same number x 40 percent of x plus 42 is going to give me x so, correct now how to find out this thing yes clue sir x plus 42 is equal to x where x is nothing but 40 percent number 40 percent the same if this x is 40 percent then what is this 42 sir sir remaining 60 percent sir yes very good remaining 60 percent correct so now if 60 percent is equal to 42 what you need to find sir this is nothing but 100 percent sir yes you need to find 100 percent value what is 100 percent value sir percentage percentage cancel 100 into 42 divided by 60 0 0 cancel 6 goes 7 times this becomes 70 is the number what happened the difficult question which you thought is one of the easiest questions to solve right this becomes the solution for this particular question okay is it clear hope this concept is clear and you will do wonderful in the exam not worry okay two numbers are more than the third number by 20 percent and 50 percent respectively first number is what percent of the second number they did not ask more they did not ask less they just asked what percent of the second okay how many numbers are there in total sir three numbers are a b and c two numbers are more than the third number so which are we going to take as a base so third number is the base sir yes absolutely right Sir, third number, let me take it as 100, sir. Just assume 100. You can take any number you want, but for me, 100 is convenient to me. Okay. 100, sir. Okay, great. Sir, if the third number is 100, sir, first number is greater than 20% and second number is greater than 50%. Okay, two numbers are more than third number by 20 and 50%. So, there, this is nothing but 120, this is nothing but 150. Fine. First number is what percent of the second number? The question of second number, which is going to come in the denominator of 150 is going to come in the denominator. 120 into 100. This and this will cancel. 3 will go 4 times. 3 will go 5 times. So 5 will go 20 times. 20 into 4 is nothing but 80. 80 percent each. Right? First number is 80 percent of the second this is the way of solving it. Hope this is also very clear to you. Okay. So one more last request to people in case if you are following us on, on the YouTube, do follow us on Instagram and also in LinkedIn. So let us create the community and start building it up like a very strong community where you people can interact and make it very live. The answering to the questions or the queries to the people It'd be wonderful to have you on board and do all these things just a request okay next two numbers are less than the third number by 30 percent and 37 percent okay by how much percent is the second number less than the first now they are asking less than the first okay so how many numbers again three numbers a b and c two numbers are less than the third number so, which is the reference here? C. That is nothing but 100. It is less than the third number by 30 and 37 percent. So, A is 100 minus 30 that is 70. B is 100 minus 37 that is 63. Right? By how much percent is the second number less than the first number? Percentage less. Percentage less what will you do sir? Difference divided by more or the higher number what is the difference 7 divided by the higher number is 70 into 100 sir 7 will go 10 times 10 will go 10 times this is nothing but 10 percent absolutely fine this is the way of solving this question under 10 seconds or 20 seconds hope these concepts are getting crystal clear for your people and you won't find any difficulty in cracking any of the problems based on percentages is that clear First thing, 
need to be sure with your percentage to fraction conversion if that is clear most of the concepts in quants will be 100 percent absolutely fine keep listening that's it done any entrance exam this is the basics okay next question if numerator of a fraction is increased by 20 percent and denominator is decreased by 10 percent the value of the fraction becomes value of the fraction becomes what okay so this is the question so what happens in numerator and denominator it is increased and decreased sir there is some numerator sir there is some denominator sir it is increased sir this is decreased sir yes and that because of that increase and decrease this is happening as 3 by 8 sir yes absolutely fine this is the question they asked sir what is the meaning of percentage increase sir 20 percent is represented as 1 by 5 percentage increase means what do you need to do sir it becomes 5 plus 1 that is 6 by 5 yes absolutely fine so percentage decrease means 1 by 10 is the value here so 10 minus 1 becomes 9 by 10 absolutely fine so the numerator is increased by 20 percent sir it means x into 6 by 5 sir yes divided by y into 9 by 10 sir yes that is equal to 3 by 8 sir yes absolutely fine sir 5 will go 2 times sir 3 2s are 6 sir 3 3s are 9 sir yes sir 2 will go 2 sir up x into 2 into 2 will become 4 let me just erase it and write it over here x into this 2 will go up that becomes 4 by y into 3 that is equal to 3 by 8 yes so 8 will go here so 4 will go multiply over here so x by y becomes 3 into 3 9 9 by 32 this is the answer for you the original fraction is 9 by 32. yes this is the way to solve this question whenever they tell a numerator of a fraction is increased by 20 percent denominator is decreased by 10 percent you know the meaning of what is increased what is decreased increased means from 1 by 5 additional 1 1 1 plus 1 by 5 becomes 6 by 5 decreased by 10 percent means 1 minus 1 by 10 that becomes 9 by 10 that's all done as simple as that just get multiplied with this numerator and denominator x and y and the answer is there with you crystal clear under 10 seconds right okay great next one very uh, nice questions a man spends 40 percent of his salary on food you got your salary after your education and you're going for a work and you got your salary you're spending 40 percent so i'll eat biryani every day eat 40 percent you spent on your food 20 percent on house rent sir i am living on i am bachelor sir i'm living on rent sir so 20 percent okay take it 10% on entertainment. Movies, sir. How can I miss movies, sir? Okay, watch. 10%, 10% on convenience. Okay, petrol charge, sir. I want no, sir. If his savings at the end of the month is 1600 rupees, at the end of the month he got some nyan and is saving. Okay, 1600 rupees. I'll keep it for emergency purpose. Okay, well and good. Then his salary per month is what? Right. So now, Obviously, salary is going to be 100 percent. Whatever he is going to get is 100 percent. In that, what are his expenditures? Expenditures are going to be, sir, 40 percent on food, plus 20 percent on house rent, plus 10 percent on entertainment, plus 10 percent on conveyance. Okay, sir. 40 plus 20, 60, 60 plus 10, 70, 70 plus 10 is 80. 80 percent is spent on expenditure okay in 100 percent salary 80 percent expenditure spent okay salary 100 percent expenditure 80 percent obviously what is savings sir salary minus expenditure that is 20 percent but what is the value of 20 percent given 1600 Sir, 20% 1600 means what is 100% sir? Yes, that is what you want to find. So, 100 into 1600 divided by 20. 20 will go how many times? 80 times. 80 into 100 becomes 8000. That's all done. 2 8s are 16. 
80. That's all done. This is how you do the calculation. Fine. This is the way you do the calculation and find out the answer. Is it clear or any clarifications over here? Is it, is it 80, 20, uh, 160, 8 times 8? Yeah, 8, 8,000. Eight okay, this is the way. You do. What was the thing over here? Man spends 40% of his salary on food, 20% on house rent, 10% on entertainment, 10% on convenience. So you added everything up and you found out what was the percentage that you calculated before this. Okay, this was the meaning over here. Next question is going to be slightly different. Slightly different. Out of his total income, Mr. Rajkumar spends 20% on house rent and 70% of the rest 70% of the rest on household expense. If he saves 7200, what is his total income? The last previous question, he did not tell rest. But here he is telling rest. What is the meaning, sir? Sir, imagine you have 100 rupees. You spent 20 rupees or 20% on movies. How much is remaining? 80 rupees. Now I am telling, you spent 70% of the remaining on your household expense. What is the meaning of it, sir? 70% of 80 I spent on a household expense. Okay. 70% of 80 I spent on household expense, not 70% of 100. Remaining means 70% of the rest means 70% of the remaining amount I spent on household expense. This is the meaning of it. Okay, sir. Wonderful. I understood this. If this is clear, now what will you do? Sir. I got some salary. I got some salary X. I spent 20%, sir. Yes, you spent 20%. What is remaining with you? 80%. What is 20% value? 1 by 5, sir. What is 80% value? Or you can tell this way also. 1 by 5, sir. Okay, 1 by 5, sir. So you spent. You spent means depreciating, less, sir. So it becomes 4 by 5, sir. Sir, what is this 4 by 5, sir? Don't worry. 20% you spent. How much is remaining? 80%. What is 80% value? 4 by 5. Same, no? Both are same. Same. 4 by 5. Now, this remaining amount for what you are spending? In this remaining amount, 70% you are spending on household expense into what is 70% value? 70% value. So you need don't know that or not, sir. Why, sir, you are asking all these things? Okay, don't know, means keep it. No problem. 70% means it is 7 by 10, sir. Sir, remaining is 30%, sir. It is going to be 3 by 10, sir. Okay, 3 by 10. That is equivalent to how much, sir? After doing all these expenditures, what is he left out with? 7,200. Yes, sir. 7,200. 4 will go. 4 into 3 is 12. 12 will go 6 times 72, 600. Pi into 10 is 50, 50 into 600 is 5, 6 are 30,000 30, is the salary. This is the way you calculate the that total income over here. Okay. This is the concept of your percentages. Hope this concept is crystal clear for you. Dear. Yes or no? Just put it down in the comments so that I'll be more than happy to read out your comments. Your comments motivates us to bring in more content and much more uh, um, energetic videos also. Your comments, when we read it, we also feel happy and we like to come in with more content and to teach you people in the much more easier ways and the shortcuts to solve the questions so that you can crack your exam the least amount of time. Okay. Of course, this concept is crystal clear for you. Okay, so for with this we complete your percentage. It's the different types. Some different types have solved it. Just practice these problems itself, and you be clear with the concepts. That should be good enough for your examination. Okay, next one. Profit and loss. Okay, before I start with the question or not, let us understand what is this profit and loss. And post that we'll start solving some questions. Okay. 
Now, imagine that I am having 100 rupees product. The product price is 100 rupees. I am selling this product for um, 110 rupees. Obviously, I am making a profit. Hmm? If I am selling the same product for 90 rupees, obviously, I am making a loss. So now, how did you tell if it is a profit or loss, sir? You told you sold it for 110 or you sold it for 90. So, the profit is how much, sir? You, you said it is 10 rupees, sir. How did you tell, sir? Sir, because here selling price minus cost price gave us 110 minus 100, that is equal to 10, sir. This was profit, sir. Selling price minus cost price. Or selling price was greater than cost price in this case, sir. Very good. Very good observation. How did you tell it was a loss, sir? In case of loss, it was cost price minus selling price, sir. That is nothing but 100 minus 90, sir. That is equal to 10, sir. How did you tell it is a loss, sir? Because cost price was greater than selling price over here, sir. Yes, got the point. Yes, now we will tell, sir. All these things, basics in my college also, I studied same thing. You teach something else, no? Wait. Suppose there are a and teach. <laughs> okay. Now, sir, until this point, everything. Now, I ask you what is profit percentage? What is loss percentage? Now, there are multiple answers which I get from students in this point. What is profit percentage? They will tell, sir, profit by selling price you do, sir, into 100, that will get you profit percentage, sir. Or if I ask loss percentage, sir, loss divided by cost price, sir, into, sell, into 100, sir, do it, sir, you will get it, sir. But they don't have a clarity of what, how to find out this profit percentage and loss percentage. Now, let me give you a clarity. Okay. Now, imagine that you are selling your mobile phone for rupees 10,000 rupees. Okay. You are selling your mobile phone for 10,000 rupees. Are you making a profit or loss? Tell, tell, tell. Come on, tell. Are you making a profit or loss? You will tell us. How can I tell, sir? You tell me what was the cost price. If you got it for 5,000, you sold it for 10,000, means you're making a profit. If you got it for 50,000, selling for 10,000, means you're making a loss, no, sir. Yes, what was the point here? You asked me for what is the cost price. Only based on the cost price, you will be able to tell if it was a profit or loss. Without cost price, is it possible for you to tell if it was a profit or loss? No. Right? So now, the profit percentage and loss percentage are dependent on your cost price. Cost price. The profit percentage means profit divided by cost price into 100. Loss percentage means loss divided by cost price into 100. This is the basic idea of this. If this concept is clear, everything else will be clear. Trust me. That's all. That's all in your profit and loss. Nothing else. Sir, but problems and all like I don't understand only, sir. You will understand everything today. That is my work. I'll make sure that you understand it. Okay. This is the concept over here. Right? Okay, sir. Great. Now. What are they asking here? Find the selling price of an article whose cost price is given as 200 and sold at a profit of 20%. Now, I am not going to do anything else. Profit is how much? 20%. What is 20% given as? 1 by 5. Right? 1 by 5. So, what do you know about profit percentage? Sir, profit percentage is nothing but profit by cost price. Yes, very good. So, it means profit ratio is one part, cost price ratio is five parts. Yes, absolutely right. Now, what will be the selling price ratio then? Sir, selling price is nothing but cost price plus profit, sir. Very good. What is cost price plus profit? Six ratio. What have they given? Cost price 
of the product is 200 rupees. So, 5 parts is nothing but 200. If 5 parts is equal to 200, what is one part value? 40. How did you get it? Cross multiply and find out. Okay, come on. 5 parts means 1 part equal to 200 divided by 5, that is 40. Okay, 40. This is 40. What do you want to find? Selling price. What is 6 parts value? 6 into 40, that is 2. This is the way you solve the profit and loss problems. I am not using any of your traditional approaches here. Just based on your ratios. If you are not watched the ratios class, go back and watch the ratios class also. It is very important. Ratios, percentages, average will be used all throughout your quantitative activity. If you are thorough with that, everything will be thorough for you. Trust me, everything I can do it in, in terms of ratio itself for most of the things. Find the cost price of an article which is sold at rupees 560 at a profit of 6 2 by 3 percentage. Okay. Now, sir, earlier question at least easy is at 20 percent you gave. How will I find, sir, the cost price of an article? Sold at a rate of 560. Profit percentage is 6 2 by 3 percentage. Sir, what is 6 2 by 3 percent? Sir, don't worry. How to do this fraction? I will just teach you. 6 plus 2 by 3 percentage. Is it the same? Yes, sir. Same only, sir. Both are same. Yes, both are same only. Now, what I should do, sir? Sir, 1 by 3 is nothing but 0 0.33. 2 by 3 is nothing but 0 0.66. So, it means nothing but 6.66 percentage, sir. Yes, this is nothing but 6.66 percentage. What I said, 6.66 percentage as special number that is 1 by 15. This is 1 by 15. This is nothing but profit by cost price. Sir, profit ratio is 1, cost price ratio is 15, selling price ratio becomes 16. Sir, they have given selling price as 56. Yes. So, if this is 56, how much is this one? This is 560. 560. 60 will go in 56 how many times? Yes. Anyone can answer? 16, 560. Does it get solved completely? 6, 2 by 3 means it becomes 6.661 1 by 15. This becomes 16. 16, 4 are 48. 16, 5 are 80. Okay, let me keep it as 480. Keep it as 480. On the spot. Change something. It does not break our head more. 480. This is 480. This becomes 16 parts is equivalent to 480. One part is equivalent to 40. If one part is 40, 15 parts becomes how much? 15 into 40. That becomes 600. It's all done. Cost price sold at a profit of so much. What is the mistake I'm making? Because this cannot be more known. 15, 16, 4 is a 48. No, 16, 4 is a 64. 16 threes are 48. Sorry. I took it as 40. Sorry. I do make mistakes. Come. 30. 16 threes are 48. So this becomes uh, 15 into 3, that becomes 450. Cost price was 450, selling price was 408. It's all done. Easy is the way you solve this question. Next one. If the cost price of 2750 articles is equal to selling price of 2500 articles, find profit or loss percentage. Now, we will tell sir, earlier question at least you gave some meaning. Here, no meaning for me. How to solve it? Don't worry. Okay, what are they telling? Cost price of how many articles? 2750 articles is equal to selling price of how many articles? 2500 articles. Hmm. This is what is the given question. Sir, this is nothing but 250 10s are, 250 11s are, this becomes 10s are. Sir, cost price by selling price is equal to 10 by 11, sir. Yes, sir. After that, what to do, sir? I don't know, sir. Don't worry. Now, what did you learn? Whenever cost price is lesser than or let me put it as Whenever selling price is greater than cost price, what was it? It was called as profit, sir. 
whenever cost price was lesser than or uh, greater than uh, okay cost price was lesser than selling price or the profit cost price was greater than selling price then it was called as a loss this was what we learned now observe this question here cost price ratio is 10 selling price ratio is 11 obviously selling price ratio is greater than 10 or cost price ratio selling price ratio is greater than cost price ratio then what happens if this is greater than cost price ratio then it is a profit it's a profit what I want to find profit percentage so how to find profit percentage and profit divided by cost price sir what is the profit sir 11 minus 10 is how much sir why is 11 minus 10 selling price minus cost price profit no it's 11 minus 10 is 1 divided by what is the cost price 10 into 100 that becomes 10 percentage it's all done this is the way of solving this kind of question just write down the question as it is then you can identify if the given question is a profit percentage or a loss percentage. Hope this concept is also crystal clear for you. Okay. If this is good, let us go to the next particular question. Okay. Before I start this question, if you are coming to this video for the first time, please do subscribe it. Only then I will be creating this kind of content repeatedly. Okay. And help you people a lot which helps you people a lot if you don't do also i will be doing so that it helps some some of the other people in across india or anywhere so if it helps out i'm happy end of the day my job is to teach you people and if you're happy about it put a comment and like it like and share the video it would be wonderful for us to start doing more more and more more and more content okay okay after selling 72 articles, Amit earns a profit equivalent to cost price of 9 articles. Find profit percentage. So now, a quick question. Imagine that you are having 100 mangoes. 100 mangoes. And you are going to the market and you are selling. Okay, 100 mangoes, you got it at 100 rupees. Okay. Going to the market and you are selling 50 mangoes at 90 rupees. Now I am asking a question, have you made a profit or loss? Have you made a profit or loss? Think for a second and let me know. How many are telling profit? A quite a number of people will be telling it is a profit. Why sir? 50 mangoes, 90 rupees. Remaining 50 mangoes won't he tell for, won't he send for, uh, sell for at least 20 rupees, 10 rupees at least. It will become a profit now sir. Some will tell sir, loss sir. How, how loss, how profit? Okay, no question. Now, if I tell the remaining 50 mangoes, he sold it for 100 rupees. Now, we will tell it's a profit. Or, if I tell the remaining 50 mangoes were rotten. Gone. Now, what will tell sir, then loss sir. Why are you giving a contradictory statement? You should be stand still in one one statement, right? Profit means profit, loss means loss. We are telling both the statements. Problem, right? Now, how to overcome this problem? Very easy. Very easy. What need to be done? So, now, whenever you want to identify whether the given product or selling a product has given us profit or loss, you have to sell the entire lot. What is the meaning, sir? If you buy 100 mangoes, you have to sell 100 mangoes in order to identify if it is a profit or loss. You cannot sell 50 and you cannot tell if it is a profit. You cannot tell only 60 and you can tell if it is a profit or loss. Okay. It is not possible. The exact profit percentage won't be known or the exact loss percentage won't be known. There is a difference between it. Okay. Whatever you buy should sell 100% of it in order to identify if it is a profit or loss. If this concept is clear, then we will be able to solve this particular question right now. Okay. Now, how to solve this question? After selling 72 articles, so how many articles he sold? 72 articles. 72 articles. Amit earns a profit equivalent to cost price of 9 articles. Amit earns a profit. What is profit, sir? Profit means selling price minus cost price. Okay. 
selling price minus cost price. So how many articles did he buy or did he sell? 72 articles he sold. If he sold 72 articles, obviously he should have bought also 72 articles. Concept, no. He sold 72, he should have bought 72 articles. How much profit did he earn? He earns a profit of 9, a cost price of 9 articles. 9 CP, this is the profit. Cost price of 9 articles. So 9 CP is equal to 72 SP minus 72 CP. Yes, minus 72 plus 9 becomes 81 CP is equal to 72 SP. Or CP by SP is equal to 72 by 81. Right? So this goes how many times? 8 or 9 8s are 72, 9 9s are 81. 8 by 9. So obviously it is a profit. What is the profit percentage they are asking? Sir, 9 minus 8 is 1 divided by 8 into 100. 1 by 8 is nothing but 12.5 percentage. Sir, that's all done. The profit percentage is 12.5. Is it clear? Crystal clear? Whatever you buy, you have to sell 100% to identify if the given product is giving you a profit or loss. Or in case if they are mentioning it as a profit, in order to identify the profit percentage, you need to sell 100% in order to tell it. Okay, very important concept. If you get a question, do not miss it. Easy marks. Okay, next. Krishna sells his goods at 9% loss. Had he sold it at rupees 960 more, then he would have gained 7%. Find his cost. They are telling there is some person, Krishna, he sold his goods at 9% loss. Papa. Had he sold it at rupees 960 more, if he had given it at additional 960, then he would have made a profit of 7%. Okay, now we do not know what was the cost price of Krishna. Let us assume the cost price of Krishna was 100. What happened initially? He sold the product at 9% loss. Means it is sold it for 91. All these are assumptions. 100 Initial 100 parts, 100%. Hundred he sold it for 91. 91% or 91 parts, whatever you want to keep. Now what are they telling, sir? Had he sold it at rupees 960 more, extra 960, if he had sold it, then he would have made a profit of how much? Gained additional 7%. Means from 100, you would have gained 107. 107. Right? So now, sir, from 91 to 107, what is the difference, sir? 16 parts. And that is equal to how much, sir? 960. 16 part is 960, what is one part value? One part value becomes 60. If one part value is 60, what are they asking? Cost price. What was this 100? Cost price. If this is 100, this becomes 100 into 60, that is nothing but 6,000. This is What happened? Again, reiterate it. Initially, Krishna sold his goods at 9% loss. I do not know how much, what was his cost price, but he sold it at 9% loss. Had he sold it at rupees 960 more, additional 960 if he had kept and sold it, then he would have made a profit of 7. Now I am assuming that initially Krishna had got the product for 100 parts or 100 percentage whatever it is. And he sold it at 9% loss, that is 91. Had he sold it at rupees 7% or 960 more, then he would have made a 7% profit. That is difference is nothing but 16 part that is nothing but 960, one part is 60, one part is 60, cost price becomes 6,000. Hope this concept is also very crystal clear for you people. If this is good, let's go to the next problem. Okay. Again, this is another interesting problem. Suresh purchases some articles at 6 articles for rupees 5 and sells all the articles at 5 articles for rupees 6. Okay. Now, what is said about identifying if it is a profit or loss percentage. What you buy, you should sell 100%. 100% what you bought, 100% you should sell. Only then you can identify if it is a profit or loss. Okay. There is a person, Suresh. How many articles he got? He got 6 articles. He sold it for what? He sells it for 5 articles. He sells it for 6 articles for 5. 6 articles, rupees 5. Okay. Next. Okay, sorry.
This is cost price. This cost price, six articles he bought at rupees five, and sold five articles at rupees six. Five articles at rupees six. Now, what I may tell, sir, whatever you buy, hundred percent, you should sell hundred percent to identify if it is a profit or loss percentage. Now, according to this, you got six articles at rupees five. You got five art. You sold five articles for rupees six, sir. This is not magic, no, sir. This has to be hundred percent, no, sir. This is not same. So you have to make it same. How to make it same? LCM. LCM of five and six is thirty. So multiply this entire thing by five. Multiply this entire thing by six. What happens? Six into five becomes thirty, and this becomes twenty-five, and this becomes thirty, and this becomes thirty-six. This becomes articles. This becomes cost. Right, becomes cost. So what was this cost price? What was this selling price? So obviously articles have become same. Thirty thirty same sir. Whatever he got, he sold for much. So what was his initial cost sir? Twenty five rupees. What was selling cost sir? Thirty six rupees. Obviously has made a profit sir. So what is the profit percentage? Thirty six minus twenty five that is eleven. Divide by what sir? Divide by cost price that is twenty five into hundred. Twenty five will go four times. That becomes forty four percentage. He had made a profit of forty-four percentage. This is the next important concept for you. See, within a span of ten, fifteen minutes, I have taught you multiple concepts over here. Please do make proper use of it and benefit from it and crack your exams. If you crack your exams, that is going to be the biggest reward for us. It would be like I have helped someone to crack their examination and they are happy because of learning something from us. Okay. End of the day, that is more than sufficient for us. Okay, so obviously, like going forward, like in case if you find this video useful, please do share it and like and subscribe. Okay, next one, dishonest shopkeeper, very important. Okay, Abhijit, a dishonest shopkeeper, promises to sell his goods at cost price. He is selling very very honest man. I won't uh, sell more and all. I don't want one profit on. Is selling what? If I get for thousand, I'll sell it for thousand. If I get for nine hundred, I'll sell it for nine hundred. Don't worry. But he uses nine sixty grams weight instead of one kg. But he is very dishonest. Instead of giving one kg sugar, he is giving nine sixty grams sugar. He is putting a forty gram weight in the bottom of that uh, weighing machine in order to compensate. It. Okay. So now, what is this profit percentage they are asking? Okay. Let us assume that. Abhijit got thousand grams for thousand rupees. Okay, he got thousand grams for thousand rupees. Fine. So now, but he uses how much grams? But he uses instead nine sixty grams. He uses nine sixty grams. He got thousand grams for thousand rupees. But instead, he is going to sell nine sixty grams. 960. Now, what is this 960 grams? This was his initial cost price. Initial. What is this 960 grams now, sir? It's new cost price, sir. Why, sir? This 960 grams is nothing but 960 rupees. No, no. This becomes his new cost price. New cost price, sir. 960 rupees, sir. Yes. So now, what had he promised to sell? He had promised to sell 1000 grams. He got thousand grams for thousand rupees. He had promised to sell thousand grams at thousand rupees. And this is what he is selling at. He is using. He is selling, sir. I got for thousand rupees. I take it for thousand rupees and go, sir. He is selling it. Now, what is this called as selling price? Selling price. So from nine sixty to thousand, what is the difference, sir? Forty rupees, sir. Forty rupees. Now what they are asking? What is the profit percentage? What is the profit percentage, sir? Profit percentage nothing but difference, sir. That is nothing but forty. The whole divided by cost price, sir. Cost price is going to be what, sir? Nine sixty, sir, into hundred, sir. What is forty? So the profit percentage becomes one by twenty four into hundred. One by twenty four is nothing but forty one point six seven percentage. That's all done. This is how you solve this particular question. Okay.
now i want you people to try this question and finish it off okay selling 340 loses 15% how much should he sell in order to sell the article to gain 15% okay give a try and put on the answers in the comment i'll check it out and let you okay hope the session was wonderful for you people and you found it a bit interesting and gain some knowledge out of it in that case please do share it subscribe it and stay tuned for the next video thank you very much take care bye bye see you best wishes for your exams thank you